that was confusing. If I would have known what the uh, cable was for, I would have said something, or said what said it was for. But I I remember you needed it for something, and I remember bringing it over. I just couldn't remember what it was. But now that we got that all taken care of, thanks for letting me borrow it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm kind of surprised I didn't really get any footage today, but at the same time I didn't really do anything today, so I want to apologize in advance for the shortness of the video, um, but I do want to say if you made it this far, subscribe, give me a like, um, When you subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get all my stuff. Um, what else is there? Subscribe, bell notification, like, oh, leave me a comment. Um, let me know what kind of stuff you want me to do. Um, like, whether you want to see me do, like, um, what do you call it? Just regular vlogs of going to the mall, or card games, or, like, cooking. Just a few examples. Just list off a few things. If you want to, let me know what you want me to do, so, yeah. Oh, and, uh, by the way, uh... I wound up picking up a charger for my, um, rechargeable, uh, the charging cord for my rechargeable battery charger. Um, I've got a few things coming up. One of them is this coming weekend. Hopefully I'm going to be, I'm planning on going. Hopefully I actually get a chance to go. Uh, i got another thing coming up next weekend. Again, hopefully I get a chance to go. surprises up until they wind up actually coming. Um, and I'm going to be using a different camera to be able to film this, assuming the actual batteries are still good. So, I don't know if I will actually be able to get all the footage that I want. I'll still get the footage if I go. I just don't know if the camera will be working because I don't know if the batteries are going to be working. But I'm going to go test out tonight, see if the charger works. And I'll figure all that out. I'll let you guys know. <sighs> but. You guys should be able to, if you guys follow me on Snapchat, uh, not Snapchat, Instagram. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see, I'll try and take a few pictures and upload them as it happens. So, yeah. Well, I'm on my way home. It is almost midnight. I'm in an area I'm not really used to. I don't really know what goes on here, but it seems like it's in the right area. Could be worse, but, but yeah. Anyway, um, if anything else happens tonight, I'll uh, try and record. Well, I got home. I didn't feel right taking my camera out when this happened, but I just had somebody... I've seen this person before. Uh, he stayed at the shelter I was at for a while. I didn't trust him at all then. I still don't trust him, 
I don't think I'll ever trust him in the future, but this is a person who I haven't really spoken to at all. So I figured I'd say that now before, you know, I actually told you what happened. But this is a guy who is... For as long as I've known about this person, basically from the first time he tried talking to me, he came off as, you know, extremely creepy. And when I say extremely creepy, I mean like, holy fuck, stay away from this guy. He acted, uh, he acted like he was trying to do something shady from the beginning. But, um, long story short, this dude follows me on the light rail, manages to follow me and get off on the same stop I get off at for the train. And then asks if he can spend the night. This is a person where I barely talked to him to begin with. When I have spoken to him, he came off as creepy. Other people have said he's creepy. And he acts like somebody that, uh... He acts like other people that I've known that actually steal shit for drugs. So, this is a guy who asked if he could spend the night in my apartment that I already uh, do not give, where I already do not give out where I live to most of the people that I actually know and have met and talked to and have become acquaintances with or even friends with there's only you know a couple family members and two other people outside of family that know where I live and I sure as hell ain't giving this guy directions to where I live anytime soon. So... Other than being extremely fucking creeped out, I don't know what to say about this whole situation. Anyway. I know I already said this before, but, uh... If you made it this far into the video, make sure you subscribe. I'll be right back. But yeah, make sure you, uh, if you made it this far, make sure you subscribe. Give me a like if you haven't already. Hit that notification button. Um, so you can tell, or so you know, like if you like the story I just told and want to, you know, follow up on it. Make sure you hit that bell notification button so, uh, if something else happens with it, or if anything else like this happens, that way you'll know. Um, leave me a comment and let me know what you would have done had you been in my situation. I want to hear from you guys, and I want to see if I did the right thing by waiting around to see if he'd follow me home and then having him walk away. Oh, and um, one more thing before I uh, end the video. I picked up a cord for a uh, battery charger, right? I know I said that earlier in the video. I picked up that charger. 
Um, basically, this is what I was talking about. The top part opens up like this, and there's batteries inside. And you basically plug it in using that hole. Uh, you hook that hole up to a wire, and you plug the wire in, and it charges the batteries. Um, I picked up a cord that I'm borrowing from somebody that I hoped would have worked, and the cord itself is like the uh, adapter part that plugs into the uh, actual charger is too small. It's the right amount of amps, it's just too small. So... Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Have a good night. I'll see you in the next video, whenever that is.